What's good, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Christian Asher, Zian Sai, Christian Simpson, JPC2, Ace Attorney Fan 621, Alunar, Joseph Vega, Cryptic Circus, Donald Fuller, Wet Dream JK, Kaiser Sani, Joe Hardy, Cameron Hofstra, Plague Monk 42, Robert Wogtall, Terrell Drux, Dylan Gibson, Alex Soli, Christian Pewter, Iron Metallica, Miracle, Joshua Webb, Brianna, OXL, Benjamin Sapp, Alpha X Shroom, Jordan Jardine, Haley Mitchell, Leon Lunge, Nick, hmm, now how did I get here? Jermaine Manji Jr., and Gavin King. And I would also like to thank our executive producer, The Enemy Hybrid, and welcome our new executive producer, Joshua Fix. Thank you all very much for your support, and if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. Oh, oh are you serious? Oh, no, 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 don't make me fall, don't make me fall, you idiots! Are you serious? Stop it! <laughs> You know, Nick, when we were streaming uh, streaming Half-Life Alex last night, you uh, and I talked about Rocksteady and their history as a game development company. First off, with the Arkham series. I know they did other games before that, but what really launched them into the mainstream was the Arkham series and uh, th how they really hit a peak with Arkham City, and then Arkham Knight came out, and, <clears throat> you know, it was a bit of a discomfort with that game coming out. And everyone was wondering what their next project was going to be. They were trying to make a Superman game. I know that because they talked about they were trying to make a Superman game for so long. And they just couldn't make it work. At least I care more about this than I would have a Superman <clears throat> game. Like, so Even if Rocksteady made it like, and they hadn't dropped the ball on Arkham Knight, I still wouldn't have given two shits about a Superman game. Like, sorry, I just don't like Superman. Yeah. I, I'm not as big a fan of Superman either. I don't think anything's ever going to talk me into liking Superman, like, at this point. But... What about a million dollars? That might. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in realistic terms. Yeah. In realistic terms. Yeah, but a million dollars? Heck, I, heck I'd heck i say I'd love... Uh, no, actually, I've said it before, and I'm not going to say it again, because that got memed to hell on the Discord. If somebody was like... I'll give you a million dollars, but you have to watch and consume all Superman media for the rest of your life and pretend to enjoy it, then I'd be like, fine, uh, fine yeah. fuck it. It's like million dollars. That's all my debt's gone, and I can and all my family's debt's gone. Boom. We're good. Pretty much. <clears throat> anyway. So, Rocksteady is developing a Suicide Squad game. Uh, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. So... Given how well that they did on the Batman villains, I'm actually interested to see how they write certain members of the Suicide Squad and also how the certain members will play. I mean... Well, I already know that I like their Harley Quinn <coughs> a lot better than the movie version of Harley Quinn. And so that's if they're that's keep, fair. If they're keeping Arkham's Harley Quinn for this, then that's... Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see exactly what's up with this. Here we go. Brainiac. Peeing off the roof. 
No, he's just resting. What is that? dead shot. <laughs> I believe I can translate. Boomerang has a concussion. From the enemy you missed in our last At least he's less terrifying looking. <laughs> Guess the teeth are sharper than your eyes, sharp man. <laughs> Thank you. I never miss. Yeah, you yeah, never miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, that should knock a few years off the old sentence. Thanks for reminding me of something. Oh, yeah! Wally's keeping alpha target. So he must be coming in. Ow. Okay. Look how that smashed her around oh. the back of the head. Uh, it, it hit King Shark more. Uh-oh. Oh, has he got, like, one of the Brainiac... Oh, um, Brainiac's taking him over. Oh. Shit. Son, figure out who we're killing yet? <laughs> I definitely laughed way fucking harder at that than any of the goofy ass fucking jokes from the Suicide Squad trailers. Oh my like, god, you ain't kidding. Dude. Like the, the movie trailers, I mean. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But dude, holy shit. I've never seen Harley crazy. Quinn look scared before, I don't think. Like, well, it, even when she's kind of scared, she doesn't look like that scared. She's just like, oh uh, shit. shit. <laughs> keep in mind, keep in mind, uh, she's looking up at a literal god in mortal form. Who's literally just burned the hole through a, a helicopter pilot's head. Yeah. And is possessed by an all-knowing sentient, uh, uh, sentient, uh, computer life form. So, of course, I'd probably be scared too. I'd probably look up at that and just be like, we're supposed to kill that. Anybody else just, just want to take a vacation? It's like the Dane Cook skit where UFOs land and out walk 100 foot tall Native Americans with laser eyes. It's like, well, good game, everybody. <laughs> gosh but okay so also I love the fact that they used uh, Bombs Over Baghdad by Outkast I was rapping along with it because that's one of my favorite Outkast songs ever um, but damn dude I I found myself just enjoying the I, I, I'd love to see that as a Suicide Squad movie just that that kind of comedy back the back and forth uh, that's what they tried to go for in the 2016 Suicide Squad movie, but it just fell so flat. And from the title, it's not just going to be Superman either. No, the Justice League. It looks like the whole Justice League is going to be like. I wonder if they're going to run into over. Batman and he's and he's like resisting, like he's not under Brainiac's control, and he actually has to help the Suicide Squad. See, I, I don't know about that. If this is in the same continuity of the Arkham games, I don't know if it is because if this is something completely separate, then. Yeah. Maybe then Could maybe be. it'll maybe it'll be within that and it wouldn't surprise me 
if they brought in Batman and had him help out the Suicide Squad because, you know, when motives line up, I mean, you with the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That might be all right. I feel like that would take away from too much from <clears throat> it being the Suicide Squad, though. Because, I mean, everybody's like, everybody's familiar with the comics where it's like Batman has the contingencies if the rest of the Justice League lose it or whatever. But Well, the thing is, he has contingencies for everything, but there's even stuff in the infinite cosmos, there's even stuff he doesn't plan for. Well, sure. I mean, hell, the contingency plan for him, like, which he literally calls uh, Dark, you know, you know, Darkness, uh, Dark Knight Falls, is literally, you know, the Justice League. Because, as he stated in the in the contingency, Batman is Batman is intelligent. <clears throat> he has years of training, and he has experience, and he, and he plans for everything. But he is only human, and overwhelming him with <clears throat> with too much firepower, and also exploiting the weakness of his parents, is a way to is a way to get to him. In which it's true, but good lord, I. I did not expect that to be that good. I mean, freaking rock steady, knocking it out the park. Got to applaud that. Got to applaud that. So, yeah, time just ran out as well. So, again, everyone, thank you all very much for tuning in. If you all are excited for the uh, for this game, let us know in the comments down below. And also, I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. Micah. I'm Nick. We will see you then, everybody. Peace out. <laughs>